let's move to Slovakia, who I think they were once a nation. I'm not like a history freak. Czechoslovakia. Like, yeah. They Czechoslovakia. were also they were together. Czech Republic and Slovakia. Yeah, yeah, they were once together. Right. Now they're complete rivals. So yeah, go on with it. Slovakia, yeah. bring them on. Well, they're once, I'd say, together again, grouped in the group of mediocrity. The number six team that I got is Slovakia. And I want to gloat about Slovakia a little bit because I have them really low, but it hurt my soul to put them really low. So I was making my predictions and I'm like, okay, realistically, is Slovakia going to be better than Russia, Sweden, and um, the United States? And part, I had them above the United States for a second. I'm like, what is wrong with you? They're good. Don't have, give me those eyes. They yeah, have a very good I had them above Sweden right too. And then I'm like, what is wrong with you? And, but I keep looking at this Slovakian roster. And I know I'm not like the biggest prospect guy, but I like prospects. I'm like, holy crap. These guys are going to be fun. This is going to be be a fun fun team. They're going to be so much fun. Um, Storyline basically going into these guys is let the kids play. Oh, my God. This is going to be such a fun team. I cannot wait to watch them. I believe – I think they got the first game of the World Juniors. I don't have the schedule right in front of me, but I think they have the 4 o'clock game on Boxing Day. Um, So, like, let's just start talking about some of these players. I'll start with one. Um, Yorov Slavkovsky. I said that correctly. Ranked 410. At four to eleven, he's gonna go somewhere in there. Maybe even number three. I've seen, like, I was listening to a podcast. They were talking about this guy being like the next guy after Shane Wright. Uh, basically, a big power forward that can protect the puck, score goals, play defense, hit you super fast. And I cannot wait to watch him. I'll let Jared sound off a little bit on Slovakia because I know he's done. He's done his due diligence. Let's see what he has to say. Okay, uh, sorry, could you guys hear me first of all? Yes, good. yes, okay, you're my good. back working? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the first player I want to sort of highlight when talking about uh, Slovakia is uh, a player by the name of uh, Simon Nemec. So he's a 2022 uh, prospect. He won't go first overall, of course. This is Shane Wright's draft, but he's going to be somewhere around there. He's a, a very uh, good puck-moving defenseman. Uh, so he's somewhere that's definitely in the mix to be a high draft pick this year. Uh, he could definitely help out Slovakia's defensive core. So there definitely is players on this team to highlight. Overall, kind of, in my opinion, the, the whole spiel with Slovakia is that they're a very interesting team to watch. And I think in my mind, they're a very boomer bust kind of team. Uh, so the question with a lot of uh, sort of inexperience, a lot of young kids kind of getting a shot with this roster, the question is going to be, do they click right away and they are one of those surprising teams that goes on a run? Or do they kind of get shut down by the stronger teams in their division? So, like, there's a lot of kind of question marks there. It's not me doubting the team because I think they're going to be a very fun team in this tournament. They're definitely a team to keep an eye on, definitely a team to watch. They have loads of talent all throughout their roster. But as well, when they're playing against teams such as the U.S. and Sweden and Russia and all these teams like that, there is going to be a question mark at how many wins they could kind of take away from the big boys in that division. Uh, so there are some questions there, but overall, no, they're a very fun team. I'm very excited to see how they do. Um, I'd say they maybe lack a little bit of depth throughout their lineup, but overall in on both forwards and in defense, they have their fair share of young kids and prospects that are really going to get a chance at this roster. And overall, I'm, I'm really excited to see how these Slovakian kids do. Not one of my picks to really go on a run or do anything major, but they will be a team to keep an eye on because there's a few kids on that team that if they really find magic in this tournament, there is a storyline there that Slovakia could somehow be that miracle team that there always is one. There's always one surprising team. And there's definitely a route there that Slovakia could be this year's surprising team. I wanted to talk about like some players specifically because one big thing that I really like about this Slovakian team is that like let's say there's a, a face-off in the other team's end, you're down three to two minute left you need a goal you can throw out a legit line that will score you a goal because they have so much individual skill like up front i'd say it's as good as pretty much anyone except for canada um and i'll i'll like actually come out and say that they're so good and i i can't wait to see them another guy that i want to talk about maybe i'll say for for evan is martin chromiak i don't know if um he's too familiar with him but yeah he's no he's a uh, king's boy or did you say Vegas boy? I, didn't hear I you. said Kings. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kings boy. Uh, Shane Wright's line mate, I should say. He's got 32 points in 23 games from this year. He was an import pick, I believe, in the OHL. I don't have that in front of me, but um, Mario, you most wanna, likely would you be. Wanna, 
yeah, I, th- I think he was in, in, like an import pick. I think he has to be actually. Yeah, he uh, has to be. You want to go, Mario? I have to. I have to harp on this team. They are. Oh, I cannot wait to watch these guys. If you're a fan of the World Juniors, I suppose you guys are. If you're tuned into this show, please keep close tabs on Slovakia. I have a very good feeling on them. I know this could blow up very, uh, very easily in my face because I know they're probably a boom or a bust team. But man, if these guys get clicking. There's no real answer of what we can see and what we cannot see from them. They're the best Slovakia team that we have seen in years. Lots of up and coming draft picks, and they really look to stabilize themselves into this into the discussion uh, this year. How will they do that in a tough division? Well, upsets, and they are probably one of the better teams equipped to do so and upset other teams. Few teams have a leader in goal. The Slovaks have that. Simon Let's Simone Latskowski. Maybe the Italian, we'll that. the Italian sure. blood is not very good with these pronunciations, but he <laughs> plays for the Madison Capitals and is a 10, three and one record. He is terrific down there. I can see him being terrific in this tournament. So keep an eye on him. He's going to be a pretty good, pretty good leader from the goal out. And if you did not know, Slovakia was a Wayne Gretzky tournament finalist last summer. So they got some success rolling in recent memory. And uh, it's not going to be a long tournament, like I mentioned with the che- uh, Czechia. But it could very possibly be a memorable one. And I think the Slovakia team has what it takes to not just go the distance, but really impress fans of the tournament. Yeah, I uh, I couldn't agree more with that. I think it'd be a crime if we also didn't mention uh, Samuel Nas- Knasko. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, another St. Louis pick in the third round defenseman who is very similar to Stanislav Swozil in the fact that he is a smooth skating defenseman, uh, really good in transition. He makes... These long card stretch passes that I always I just I love seeing stretch passes. It's something Timothy Lilligren has been able to do so well for the Leafs. So I'd like to k- kind of compare him to that. Uh, random little aside on Knasco, he's really good on his back end, which is good because that'll mean translating to an NHL level. He could probably play on both sides. Um, Evan, you got anything to say on the rest of Slovakia? Or just, what do you like? What do you expect? No, I. I, I I don't know. Like they're always a really they're always like a mediocre to like elite team. Like they're they're they always have enough to get you there, but they don't have enough to get over the hump usually. I wouldn't be surprised if they made it to a medal round. I just don't think it'll be the gold medal. Yeah. So I, I think crazy. like there's I think their ceiling could definitely be like the like the third fourth place game. But you know I I I think they're I think next year they could actually take on like they could take gold. Like they have a lot of. 17 year olds this year that can return next year that I'm very intrigued by. And I think they could really, it can make it more interesting so that it's not like Canada, USA every year. So they can definitely, I think this is like step four or five of getting to a gold medal. Yeah. I, and that's actually one thing I wanted to touch on too, is maybe not this year, even though it very well could be this year, but next year when guys like if they don't make the NHL, which I don't think Nimic or I think that's how you pronounce Nimic or I not 200%. Um, him, Slavkovsky, other guys like Dvorsky, who is an 05. He's actually like the number three guy that no one talks about behind Bedard and Michkov. He's on this team too. Um, they have Philip Massar, who is another fantastic player. Um, just literally going through their roster. Chromiak won't be back next year. Um they're just, they have a really solid team, and they're they're young too. Like these aren't NHL drafted guys. They only have three NHL picks, and we're talking about them, you know, potentially upsetting a United States or a Sweden or one of these big teams. Unluckily for them, if they don't manage to do that, and they come fourth, they're playing probably Canada in that medal round. So the storyline going into here is somehow get into third and just so, somehow get into a medal round. I think that would be a successful tournament to then uh, anything less than that. They shouldn't be anywhere near the relegation round. Even though last year they came, I believe eighth. Yeah. They came eighth last year. I think we've said enough on Slovakia. Like we just, I just say one, one yeah, thing. Say like it's it. not, I was just saying that like for a lot of guys, especially like in Europe, like the golden arch isn't the NHL. So like a lot of these guys are like playing in the yeah. KHL or like the SHL, like that's their country's golden arch. So like, I think people also need to realize that like they're playing professional in their country. Like the NHL isn't the dream for everyone in yeah. the entire world. Oh, hundred percent. Like you got to remember these guys are all pretty much pros now. Like it's crazy to think about that. Like I'll bring up Dalibor Dabowski. He's playing right now in the Alsvenskan. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's um, 
Sweden's AHL. He was playing there, and the guy's two years younger than us. He's an 05. He is 17 years old. He can't even can't even drive. Like or he's 16 years old. He's not 17. He's 16 years old. 